before you got into your nonprofit and uh, all those organizations that you worked with, yep. those that you saw involved in philanthropy and volunteering, how have you seen that influence and impact the organization when they do that? Uh, that's a good question. Um, let me first kind of give you my definition of community. Please. Mm. So uh, community is such a generic word. Community, the way I look at it, is any group of people with similar interests united through communication. Mm. And when the communication fails down, you will notice the community disperses. Mm -hmm. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. Any group of people, you take mm -hmm. it, you know, whether it is an ethnic group, whether it's an organization group, whether it's an association. You've seen associations succeed mm -hmm. when there's a good leader who is able to, or he or she, is able to effectively communicate the focus, the goal, the mission, the vision, the principles of why we are together as an association. Mm -hmm. But when leadership changes and community, the communication starts to uh, fail, you'll notice that successful organization starts to slowly disappear, people's interest starts to wane away. Yeah. Uh, at a corporate level, I, what I felt is that to me, it is the earliest time for employees, team members, to actually, through corporate programs, get engaged in causes that uplifts community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For example, when I was chief strategy officer at Pearl Systems, you know, we supported American Heart Association's mm -hmm. uh, the annual walk, heart walk, they called it. Mm -hmm. So our CEO would come and walk along with all the employees. Yeah. Leaders would walk along with all the employees. Yes. So first of all, it demonstrated culture. It also demonstrated that we as an organization cares for the community where we do business in, mm -hmm. right? So that's how we have you know, looked at community. Uh, community is a, a very important part of uh, an organization. Mm -hmm.